Okay, so uh, what do I say? Just say, hello, my name is Sid, and welcome back to the Muppet Show vlogs. Muppet Show? I thought I was reviewing Ren and Stimpy. Oh, shut up, Sid. <laughs> Whatever. Hello, I'm Sid, and welcome back. <laughs> I'll be looking at the episode with Phyllis Diller. Oh, I know Phyllis Diller. She said, shut up. Oh, um, where do I start? I'll start with the story. Okay, so the story is, who's Hilda? Hilda is the seamstress for The Muppet Show Season 1. She never appeared in any of the seasons because her performer retired after this season, but it's a part of what makes Season 1 so unique. And it's nice that she gets her own storyline. So the story is, Hilda wants to look young again because Phyllis Diller has had facelifts. Unfortunately, she fails at it. Like, really fails at it. Oh, Hilda, I just want you to know that I think it's wonderful that you want to look your best into... Now, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of things I like about this episode. Don't tell me, tell them... Oh, there's a lot of things that I liked about this episode. For one, I like Fozzie's joke at the beginning. Well, I guess as much of the joke as we get to hear. Hey, did you hear the one about the kangaroo who walked into a store and this hippopotamus comes out and says to the kangaroo, Hey, I wasn't there. Speaking of jokes, this one between Fozzie and Scooter helps show that The Muppet Show really wasn't entirely for kids. Hey, is it possible Hilda's 35? Only around the waist. Also, I like that they made a story about a character who, you know, isn't Kermit or Fozzie or Miss Piggy. Especially for one like Josh said that wasn't in the next season. It gives her some time to shine. Now on to Phyllis Diller. She is hilarious. Hi, Phyllis. What you got there? It's my new pocket camera. It takes great pictures. See there? Oh, what are these pictures of? Pockets. Oh. <laughs> she does a great job interacting with Rolf the dog and Fozzie Bear. Rolf is in a bar and she's depressed. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, let me buy you a drink. I don't drink with strangers. I'm Phyllis. I'm Rolf. <laughs> What happens next? I went to a taffy pool. The taffy won. <laughs> you think that's bad? The first three months of my life, there was a newspaper strike. I have home movies of my folks leaving the hospital with sacks over their heads. Oh. Joke after joke after joke. And Phyllis helps Fozzie become a better comedian. Fozzie, baby. What? You're just going to have to learn to lie. Oh, but why, Phyllis? I'll tell you why. So in case you don't make it as a comedian, yep. at least you can go into politics. <laughs> also, there are some pictures on the Muppet Wiki that show that Kermit and Phyllis were originally going to do one of those, uh, um, well, round table whatever they were. Sad that we've never seen anything from it. But the best thing about this episode is the song Hugga Wugga. The thing that makes this song so great is You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me... Who the hell are you? It's a classic song that was actually originally performed on the Ed Sullivan Show and other variety shows under the name Scrapsly App. And you can find it on the Ed Sullivan yeah, Muppets yeah. Magic DVD. It's really worth checking out and it's neat to see where a song like this got its origins. Scrap, flap, hugga wugga. But what don't I like about this episode? There's just not much to the story. Oh, I want to look young. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I'm gonna try this. Oh, it didn't work. Let me try one last thing. Oh, it didn't work. There's no real, like, payoff. And Kermit says, we all love you the way you are, but this. I don't know. They could have just put it in anywhere. And, uh, I guess this isn't much, but this jump cut just is so obvious. It's like, you know, they didn't really even care that people would notice it at all. 
But really, those are the only issues I have with this episode. It's really funny, even though the story is just sort of there. It's a great episode. So many funny parts, so many quotable lines. It's got Hugga Wugga, and it's one that you should check out. Thank you for watching. Do not take my sunshine away.